Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Mobile Legends Adventures. Um, I've been trying to get BlueStacks to work on my computer. It worked the first time. I don't know why the fuck it's not working now. I had to download it, re-download it, and all it does is it keeps restarting my fucking computer. So I went online, I did the whole command thing where you let Hyper V Fly or whatever the heck it's called for BlueStacks 5 or whatever it's called. BlueStacks Hyper V 5 or whatever. So that I can run the simulation of the actual game so I can record. But it's being a piece of shit. So whoever put the most recent blue stacks out, um, yeah, that code is corrupted. Because apparently it doesn't work. Every single goddamn thing I try. I deleted every single blue stacks app. Redownloaded it. Didn't work. Um, so unfortunately it seems like Google <laughs> Games Beta is really the only thing that works. Um, but yeah, anyway, so... The only reason I'm mentioning that is because I was trying to do MLA on the computer as well. It didn't work the way I thought it would, so... I mean, I was able to record one video. It was very short, though, because I wasn't doing an actual video. But it, it's just... It sucks, because it worked before. I don't know why it's not working now, but, you know, it is what it is. So I wanted to talk about something, right? I don't know if this resets, this bar here, depending on who you talk to. And you can switch characters. So I'm going to just see if this works, right? Aha, there we go. Okay, so you can switch characters, right? Okay, so jack-o'-lanterns. Pat her head to see what happens. Jack-o'-lanterns seem to evoke memories of seconds. Fluorescent blue pumpkin makes her happy. Okay, now we get to do this. You came just in time. I was looking for you. Jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> Basically, that's what you need to do. You get a clue, and you can actually keep glowing. A fluorescent blue jack-o'-lantern, obviously. Um, And I don't think we'll get the invite, but... uh, I think we have to wait another day, right? Stop. Yeah, so that that's the thing. Um, all right, so everybody, save your mystical invitation tokens, whatever these are called, um, the gotcha tokens, because you can actually get fifty of them, and do the. Oh, but it's divided by two. Oh, so I guess it doesn't matter, but it did before. <laughs> that's really weird. Um, wait, you get a fifty uninvited. Raise more friendship to invite and unlock. Oh, okay, so. The more you invite them, of course, you have to do both of them. You get a 20, 50% discount each time. So it goes down to 25, and then it goes down to 13, 12 tokens. I don't know how that works. Um, story, interact to hero to change your mood from such a cheerful, interactions correspond to gotcha tokens. Invite a hero to get 50% off gotcha pun draws. So I don't know if it stacks, but if it does, that would be insane. Um, I mean, yeah, it's something that, uh, whales want to do so that they don't have to pay as much money when they do have to buy tokens. But if you know, if you're lazy, then you can just get it as much as you want. Um, we're actually very close to this other event. So we're also going to do that in this video. Um, so yeah, that was just the beginning. Also, you get more orbs of illusion and, you know, that's part of the, Ivory Veil shop, so if you want exchange shop, so if you want to get more stuff, including a buy, if you want to get a free buy, that is definitely where you want to be using them and you want to save them up. So very cool, very good. I didn't know you could switch characters, and I don't know if it'll work. I mean, it says uninvited, so here's the thing, right? So I switch characters, right? And I go to Gotcha Pot. It says invited here, and it says 25, right? So I'm assuming you can oh so you can't do the multi draw more than once because it's it's grayed out. But this one you can. That's interesting. Okay. So they definitely balanced it, but it's just something to keep in mind. And I don't know if this will also make it half percent, because if you look at it, right? It's already at half percent. And the thing is I can't do another five times draw. Yeah, that's interesting. Hopefully I'm at least able to do a 10, oh, well, I guess you can do 14 in total, something like that. 
But yeah, you're not able to get a skin token, which is kind of sad. If they gave you just enough to get a skin token, I would be like, all right, this is definitely something everybody should do because you get free skin tokens. Oh, okay, after you win the first prize, all right, whatever. Okay, so now we're doing Starfall Eve um, because we're actually very close to getting a 50 draw, so I just want to see how that works. So we'll just go to Standard Arena real quick. Yada yada, don't really care what happened. We're just going to do some skips. I hope this is up. I mean, the Mystical Event music is really goddamn loud, so that's why I put it down a little bit. I do apologize. Yeah, and I am still recording on my phone because the blue stacks isn't working for some God knows what reason. Also, I've been trying to play Bloons Battles 2 on my computer. Apparently, it's not available on the Microsoft Store, which is just like, why? You have Balloons Tower Defense 6 there, and they have Balloons Battles the original. Um, so I have to try and get it through Steam. The only problem is that Steam doesn't allow you to make a new account because the fucking CAPTCHA I'm not an AI thing is the stupidest thing that was ever invented on the goddamn planet of Earth. And you know what pisses me off the most is that it refreshes the fucking images after you click them once because it wants you to go through all of them. And I'm like, just give me nine pictures and that's fucking it. I choose the ones that have whatever you say, and that's it. I I don't fucking understand. Um, I wish they would just call you, and then you would have to push a specific number or sale phrase or something. It would be so much easier. Like, this fucking CAPTCHA thing, literally Steam is, you're unable to become a new Steam user. <laughs> and the problem was, too, is that once I completed that, it told me to go back to the page where I was trying to confirm my fucking email. But the problem is it won't let me go back until I sign in. So it's like, what is the fucking point if I can't even log in because you're stopping me by having this fucking CAPTCHA thing? And then once I say my email is correct, you're like, all right, we'll go back to the page, which I can't even go into because I haven't created a fucking account yet. I'm just, I'm just livid. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. It's like, of course, a fucking course. Try to do one thing. To make better videos for y'all and the world is just like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> it's like, come on, Steam. Seven billion users and you can't even figure out a fucking simple coding error. Like, why Why do we need an AI AI confirmation? No, no fucking AI is going to go on Steam and do anything. Like, you just play games. I, I don't understand why you need it. It literally stops people from accessing Steam. 100%. Oh, sorry. It just makes me really mad. <laughs> All right. Wishing star event. So here's the thing, right? There's 10 days left. You get five per day for free. Well, more than that, you get 60, you get 20, you get 30 per day for free, right? So at most you can get 300. Which actually is a lot, now that I think about it. Yeah, because there's 10 days. So in the next 10 days, not including these 70 I have, you get five each from um, just the store, right? As it, I, I clicked the wrong thing again. From the shop, as everybody saw, the limited pack, you go to super value pack, you get free one every, oh, every 12 hours. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so you can actually get two of them if you're a, a viewer sweat. So that's 10 plus the 25 you get from the actual Starfall Eve event, which is 25, 16 plus nine is 25. Yeah, that, that's uh, 35 tokens every day if you sign in twice. I'd say more realistically, it's only five because who's signing in more than once, um, especially if you're late game. If you're early game, I would understand. This is probably one of the best things to happen to your account, which is why I love this um, because it's 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 free for I'm pretty sure it's free for everybody, right? Wait. Um do you have to complete a certain campaign? I'm sure there's like a campaign story um requirement. So it's not completely just available to everybody, but as long as you complete a certain chapter, I believe. It, it's it's an earlier chapter uh, I'm sure of, but I think. If it's not, it sucks for, for free to play. But for loyalty players, the people who have been here, you know, I can't call myself free to play anymore because I did test the Babble Fund and I tested to see what would be most worth my money. 
And, you know, there's definitely good things to spend your money on in this game. But, yeah, I mean, I spent $40, and that it makes my account 100% not free to play. Which is sad, but it is what it is. Um, all right, let's do some draws because <laughs> we need to do some draws. So, I've been actually realizing that this is really good. Let's do a 10 draw. Yeah, I, I really didn't expect me to get anything good there. So here's the cool thing, right? I get 30 again tomorrow. You get 35 at most if you're diligent and sign in twice a day. Every 12 hours, basically. Otherwise, you get 30, which is reasonable, right? 30 a day, That's that means you get 600 by the, sorry, 300 by the end of the event. That means you can make it to this. This means that for free... They have given everybody all. All you got to do is your daily stuff, right? This this is all daily stuff. Fighting a guild boss, claiming out a reward. I mean, you might do that more than once. Usually, you only do it twice or once. Um, because like if I try and claim, oh no, I guess you can just tap the chest. It's probably the easiest one then. Yeah, that that's that's so simple. The best thing about it too is you don't have to actually complete all of them. Um, I wish they would give you an extra five. No, no. I, honestly, they don't have to give you anything, right? This, this is so good by itself. Like, just just do the math, right? They give you... Well, honestly, I might be able to make it to the end because I've already done 10... No, because I just did 10 draws. That's it. Okay, so they give you 330. 370. Because I have, I had 50, I did the draw, and now I have 20 left. I think that's how that works. I might have gotten an extra one from signing in weirdly, because I did skip a day. Um, I was supposed to sign in at 1.30 last night, but I was trying to do the fucking blue stacks thing, and of course that didn't work. Um, so now I have. I was like, all right, well, I'll wait tomorrow, get longer um, idle rewards. and Because I've been doing every 24 hours, but I realized, yeah, it's fine, but it's not the most beneficial to me. The only reason I've been doing it is, again, for the Wishing Star, the Mystical Invitation event, and the Login event. Because, again, these are all free-to-play stuff that give you extra rewards, extra stuff. And, again, when there's an event, I have stuff to do. So, not complaining. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I have tokens to collect. And, I mean, you know, I will take the Advanced Essence because those are actually pretty valuable, just collecting them overall. Um, but yeah, we almost have uh, some more skin tokens. I think we have almost 150 now. We'll have 300 by the end, so that's really good. You get 300 here, right? And I already had 100. Um, so yeah, I got 100 once I got here. So now I have two, another 100 here. So that's 200, and then the last 100 here. And I'm on, I'm on point. I can technically miss five days, and I would still have 13 days left to... Well, then I would have to log in all those 13 days. So really, it's up to your own discretion. But I mean, yeah, I've been logging in most days. I've skipped a few here and there, which is fine. Like I said, they give you... I love that they give you enough time. Most games, they will give you the FOMO. And I really hate when they do that. I really hate when they do that. Of course, this game still does it with the legendaries. You get the FOMO, fear of missing out, which is one of the worst things they can do because it really shows us that they're not actually trying to make a good game but they're just trying to profit off of money but i like that at least when it comes to login yeah you can like miss five or four days and you'll be fine as long as you log in every day of course the last rewards are usually the best but now they're adding the hero in the halfway which i love because getting a single hero copy is much less rewarding on 30 days than it is on two weeks whereas the skin tokens that's a whole nother thing right yes they're amazing but they're definitely late game. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to end the video, but yeah, that was the mystical invitation. I had to show y'all that again, because that is something I didn't check. Um, but yeah, you can really decrease the amount of tokens you use, which is insane. So we'll see if it stacks, but you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, and we're, we're very close to some more orbs of illusion. So yeah, they give you 60 free orbs of illusion, which I didn't even realize, but yeah, that's, uh, it's crazy. That's really good. Like, I'm just like, this is awesome. 
Um, and then, yeah, right now, I would say the most useful out of all of this, out of all of these, sorry, would definitely be, um, well, the Sacred Scrolls, if you're trying to save up for any legendaries, that's probably like the latest game, if you already have all of these maxed out and you've done all this stuff. Glory Gems would probably be second for late game, because, again, that's like one of the later game things. You need to have your heroes awakened for that. Uh, Orlay cards would be third because you also need to have your heroes awakened for that, but it's just the first awakening level. I believe this is the second or first awakening level. Then you can start doing the um, glory gems or whatever they're called. Third would probably be these. Well, actually, yeah, because the, the third is, is really, it takes a while to get. Um, the ones are pretty easy to get. The twos are decently easy to get. Um, these would probably be second. And then honestly, third, I would say is this, because these are much more, I wouldn't say they're much more important, but they definitely provide more to your account than like these would, pro these are just providing, um, the Omen Crystals just provide a stat boost to your actual gear. Eventually, once you get them past, you know, um, four, I believe you get the like exclusive, equipment for that character or you can upgrade it to that character's exclusive equipment don't know exactly how that works because i'm not even close to there yet but yeah the definitely it gets later game as you go up the tiers um i would say one and two are probably next this is probably very important because you need this to upgrade your soul vessel up to level 30 and above i believe so super useful you always need this um, yeah, I mean, it's a universal soul meteor chest. Like, what else, what else do you need to say? Um, and then, yeah, I guess the the rest of the rewards are kind of trash, in, in my opinion. <laughs> like, you, you shouldn't be drawing for these. Um, maybe the 20, because that gives you a little bit more draws. But yeah, honestly, you should not be going for them. Uh, this would probably be the top for late game. Second to top, because honestly, the Sacred Scrolls are really, like... The late late game, um, but yeah, I mean they literally give you free four heroes. I'm not doing the math wrong, right? You get thirty per day times ten. That's three hundred, right? So you get four free heroes, or you get two free heroes and sixty sacred scrolls. Sixty sacred scrolls. Sixty. Oh my goodness, that is so nice. Um. Yeah, and there's some Chaos and Order heroes too. So if you just want to... Oh, they have some... Uh, they have Esmeraldas. I might just max out my... Well, for the first two draws, I might max out my Esmeralda. Because I think I already have a one six-star copy of her. Because I want to awaken her. Once I awaken her, I have a full... Well, six-star team of awakened heroes. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh, very good, very good, very good. What does the last one give you? Oh, yeah, the same thing. So this is amazing. This is amazing. Free heroes. Wishing Star event gives you four free heroes. It's ridiculous. And all you got to do is do daily stuff. So it's just, it's just ridiculous. I do have... Oh, wait. Eight days remaining on this, though. Oh, see, here, here's the catch, right? Right? So I don't have 300. So let me redo the math on that. Um, So you have eight days times 25... What is that? Uh, 200, right? Because 4 times 25 is... Yeah, 8 quarters is $2. Yeah, okay, so 200. Which is still really good if you think about it. Because they give you... Okay, well, 200 plus the 5 times... Actually, I don't know how many days that goes... Does it... Right, right. So here's here's the weird thing about the math, right? I don't know how long. Go to the shop real quick. I don't know how long the limited pack lasts. Oh no, it's still a ten day countdown. Okay, okay, yeah. So it you get five times ten, so you get fifty extra ones, plus the seventy I had, so one hundred and twenty so far. I don't think I've signed in every day, so I'm definitely missed a few, and I haven't been signing in twice every twelve hours, like you're technically supposed to be signing in. Um, I think that's going to be it, though. All free-to-play events that everybody should be doing.
because they are very, very good for your account. Um, especially the mystical, sorry, not the mystical invitation, the starfall, whatever it's called. Yeah, starfall. -y. This is ridiculous. Okay. The fact that they, they give you just all this and you can also choose this stuff too. So you get extra rewards on top and then, you know, you can see what the other rewards are here. Nothing really to write home about. Um, but you do get a 3% chance for the custom reward, which is like insane. Since when have we ever seen more than 2%? <laughs> I mean, this game has a uh, 4%. So this game definitely has seen more than 2%, but most gotcha games, when, when have we ever seen more than like two and a half percent? for legendary stuff it's it's ridiculous <laughs> um anyway thank you everybody for watching aog gaming here if you're enjoying the content please like and subscribe really shows your support helps me out keeps you up to date my content um 140 subscribers last time to check we're going strong everybody let's go um hopefully i don't get demonetized once i get 500 subscribers but you know it is what it is haven't been monetized ever so i do make these videos just for fun, but also for y'all, if, if you give me video ideas, which I haven't really gotten any of, but I try and go off based off of views for the most part, but I still make videos on, you know, games that don't have a lot of views because I'm still enjoying them. I'm still showing you that they are good games to play and that, you know, they're, they're decent games. They're not good games because they're gotcha games, but they're decent games. Well, as any, I don't know about that. They're... See, the thing about gacha games is that it ruins it with the gacha system, but everything else about the game usually is fine if they balance it properly. And this game and Outer Plane have done a decently good job of that. I can't speak for Honkai Star Rail because, again, people have asked me, like, you're talking shit about it, but have you even played it? Yes, I played it once at the beginning. And everybody knows that it was not good at the beginning. It, it was still a gacha game at the beginning um however it's gotten a lot better so maybe i will start doing honkai star rail game play they also just had their anniversary and they give you like 80 full 80 free draws so like maybe if if everybody is saying that it is a lot better than it was at the beginning then yes because again like i i saw genshin impact and i was like all right well this is a trash game <laughs> nobody nobody can say anything otherwise the gotcha definitely ruins it um, I have to check Honkai Star Rail. I don't know if they still have the 50-50 for the rate-ups. Like I said, even if they have like a, you know, they do like, oh, it's a 2.5% chance for a legendary, but it's a 1.5% chance for the specific hero that's on rate-up, and then 1.5% chance for every other hero in the goddamn game. Why? I don't know if that's what Honkai Star Rail does, so don't quote me on that. But I have to go check. Again, it's been since the launch of Honkai Star Rail that I played the game. The reason I say that is because I tried Honkai Impact the third. Again, trash game with all their gotcha stuff. The mechanics, though, like I say, the mechanics in the open world stuff, they, they are definitely revolutionary, which I, I do agree that they're good games in how they work, but they're bad games in how they treat people who actually try and spend time on the game rather than money. <laughs> Um, Honkai Star Rail, though, I can't speak for. It is one of the newer games. Um, but yeah, I can wholeheartedly say Genshin Impact is on a decline because one, Hoyoverse is trying to fund all their money into Honkai Star Rail since Genshin Impact is an older game. And it really, like like everybody said, was their... I mean, this is what companies do, right? They release a gacha game that's amazing, you know, visuals, gets all the sheep to pay as much money, all the whales to do whatever they want. And then they end up abandoning the game. And it screws over everybody who was playing their games. But you know what they do? They just release another game and say, oh, just come to this game and play this game. But it's just another way of them to siphon money off of their current player base and try and get more players onto their games rather than actually addressing the problems in their game because they're too lazy to do that. And also it wastes money and time for them because that's their priority, right? So instead, they're going to release a new game. They're going to overmarket the shit out of it and... It's fine because they're actually listening. That This is my problem, right? Because most companies won't do that. But it seems like Hoyoverse seems to be actually taken into account, or at least the company or whoever, the group that's doing Star Rail is actually doing that. The reason I had to mention this is because one person did comment on my comments <laughs> when uh, people were saying Honkai Star Rail is actually a good gacha game or is, is a good game in general. 
And I countered by saying that all gotcha games are horrible. They are. There, there's, so there's scams waiting to take your money. Really, it's the luck and the grind that makes your account. And usually the grind is stopped by developers with paywalls, with overinflated gotchas, with, you know, whatever whatever they do, with with overbroken characters, overdone characters, overdone gear, whatever. Again, I, I have to do a full analysis before I can say that it is a bad game. I will take my statement back now by saying that Honkai Star Rail is a bad game. I still think that all gacha games in themselves are scams because of how they use the 50-50. Again, I'm going to have to check Honkai Star Rail to see if that if they have the 50-50. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here because now I'm ranting. Anyway, as always, thank you everybody for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.